welcome back. Today, we are gonna start working on the rat rod wagon. We're just gonna see how far we can get. We're not gonna be able to do everything we wanna do in this video because it requires a lot of sanding and sanding takes forever. But there's a lot of other things that we're gonna do today. We're gonna kinda de-rat rod it. <laughs> so basically, we are gonna jack it up. We're gonna see how the heck this thing is so slammed. What is it lowered on? We're gonna put the stock wagon wheels that came on our wagon and I'm gonna put these wheels on my CRX for now because the wheels that we're putting on this are on my CRX. We're just gonna do a little wheel swapping. We're gonna take off all the stickers. We're going to take off the wing because it's just like screwed on to the stock wing from the top and it just flops around and it looks kind of rice. So we're just trying to get this thing kind of more back to stock cleaning out the inside just doing what we can to make this thing look like a decent car again because i do plan to resell it i'm not gonna ask a lot for it so you know i'm just kind of budget cleaning it up just to make it look a little better and more presentable to sell to somebody as you can see the hood's already off ron did start on that he's been sanding that thing it was probably the most rusted thing on this car and it took a lot of sanding and he's starting some body work on it just to get rid of some of the dents because the hood's actually pretty rough you couldn't tell when it was all rusty, but after we started sanding it, like you could see all the dents in it and stuff. So he's just filling some of them. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, any little bit helps. But don't worry, we did get some before shots before we touched it. You'll be able to see all that. We're just gonna get started cleaning this thing up and we'll see how far we get. Let's get to work. Sorry guys, I forgot to mention why we are sanding this thing down. And here's how the hood's looking so far. He just filled a few dents. There's some more and he'll probably fill them too because these are gonna need probably another coat because you can still see how like they're still dipping down. So he'll sand that and he'll probably just do another layer. The point of sanding this thing down, as you can tell it has terrible paint. We're not gonna paint this thing. We did get some black primer and we're just gonna prime the whole thing black but I'm gonna do the trim on the doors with the SEM trim paint and stuff like that but yeah that's the plan sorry I forgot to mention that <laughs>
right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that little montage or as Rester Miata calls it, glam shots, but there's not really anything glam about this car right now. But we made some good progress. There's still a lot of work to be done. Ron basically sanded the whole car down. I'm not doing any sanding. If y'all remember about four months ago, sorry, they did something different with my braces and it's kind of hard to talk. Yeah, four months ago, I made the video of me getting different wheels for my Prelude. Well, in that video, I used super clean degreaser to clean them because I wanted to be cool like Deadbeat Garage and he always uses it, no mask, nothing. But when I used it, it completely destroyed my throat. So a little bit after I started spraying it, I realized like it was starting to burn my nose. So I put on my mask, but it didn't really do much. It messed up my throat and it's been on and off messed up since then and that was four months ago so any kind of like if i try to use any cleaning products or any chemicals or even dust it just like irritates my throat and it gets like it starts hurting all over again kind of i'm trying to avoid even wearing a respirator mask i'm just trying to avoid as much dust and stuff as i can and chemicals so yeah i'm dealing with that so if y'all use super clean i definitely recommend wearing a mask because that stuff is brutal but anyways, Ron said he spent like four hours just sanding the roof because it had like Plasti Dip on it and it just, it took forever to get it off even with like 80 grit sandpaper. Oh my God, this freaking 18 wheeler is so loud. It's looking good though. He got it all off. There's a big dip in the roof now that wasn't there before. I'm not sure if he got carried away with the sanding or whatever, but <laughs> also the support is broken right now so that doesn't help we're gonna try to fix that we got most of the stuff out of the interior so it's looking a lot better <sighs> the patch area it's still a disaster back here i'm gonna vacuum this out in the next video and start getting this fiberglass or whatever out but it's like it's screwed to wood and then that's screwed to the floorboard of the car so that's gonna be fun to get out because you can see the screws but they're like under this crap so <laughs> we got some work to do there we went ahead and took out the tail lights and stuff just to make it easier to sand around this area and you know not hit the tail lights and stuff i wasn't take off the rear bumper but it was kind of a pain and i don't actually think it's really in the way much so we're just gonna leave that on there the reason why i haven't taken the back wheels off yet is because of one of these stupid lug nuts i think it's I think it's this one. Basically the tool stripped when I was trying to take or loosen this one. I was able to loosen all the rest of them, but that one freaking stripped. So we got to get that off still. Got the front wheels on. I put the freaking only wheel that doesn't have a center cap on the uh, left front, but I think I'm going to put a center cap over here. So at least this side looks good. I do want to still clean the engine bay. It's pretty filthy and I want to try to fix some of this ridiculousness that they have going on fix some of this wiring right now this cylinder is not firing it is getting spark but i think maybe the injector or something isn't firing and also this cylinder has low compression so that's probably why it sounds so crazy <laughs> but yeah all the cylinders have good compression except for that one and that one's just not firing we got that to figure out i'm probably gonna steal this radiator honestly and put a stock radiator in here but we'll see we need to get all this crap off the headlights still this film i do want to also paint the wiper arms black again now i want to try to paint this cow too because i don't know why they put white paint in there the mirrors still need to be sanded. Might be easier to take them off to sand them, so I might end up doing that. This trim needs a lot of sanding and it's just not in good shape, but we're gonna make do with what we have and try to make it look nice again. Need to sand the side skirts as well. And once we get the rear wheels off, we can raise it up a little bit, take these stupid giant spacers off. <sighs> yeah, just a lot of things still to do, but I'm still happy with the progress that we've made so far. Oh, also, in the next video, we're going to take the floor mats and the rear seats to the car wash. And I'm probably going to take the passenger seat out as well and wash it. The driver's seat is not worth cleaning because it's just destroyed. But I think we can clean up that passenger seat because you can see it has a lot of stains and stuff. I'm going to find another steering wheel too because this one's terrible. This is the one off the CRX, as y'all remember from that video. I'm probably forgetting to mention something about the wagon, but y'all get the idea. We made some progress and we still got a lot of progress to make but I 
think this thing's gonna clean up pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited for it. So yeah, just lots more sanding and clean it up stuff and she'll get there. But that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know if y'all like the whole montage type thing. I just wanted to try something different for this video. That stupid door keeps blowing open. But anyways, I finally got my ignition for my red SI hatch. So we will be getting started on that very soon, getting that thing going again, which I'm really excited for because I want to start driving that thing again. I want to see how it feels compared to the wagon because I think I never drove it again after we got the wagon and I just want to see how they feel compared to each other. I do remember driving that thing was nice and smooth, so I don't know. We'll see, guys. We're gonna bring that thing back to life. I also have another video that I'm planning to make, but it's not a Honda video. It's the only other car I own that's not a Honda, but I want to get that thing going again. I really enjoy it. I just want to have all my cars running again. So yeah, guys, lots of stuff to do. More videos coming soon, so stay tuned. I really do hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, go ahead and give it a like for me and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.